Between Monastraki and Acropolis, a five minutes walk away is home to the best known classical Greek agora. The word means to congregate, a place for the citizens of ancient Athens to meet, bond, and deliberate on the issue of the day. So this is the ancient agora of Athens. It is located northwest of Acropolis. Uh, this used to be a large public square where religious, commercial, social, and theater plays out. In other words, this used to be the heart of the ancient city. The ancient Agora was a dynamic place where great thinkers like Socrates and Pythagoras, among others, would meet and where the ordinary citizen would come and interact with their peers, voice a concern and agree on a solution and the course of action. It represents the ethos on what most of us in the Western world enjoy today, a sense of freedom, justice, equality, and social conscience. Among Agra's many temples, altars, and other shrines located on the northwest side and on top of Agrolin Kalinos Hill, the Temple of Hephaestus is one of the best preserved of its type in Greece. The impressive temple was commissioned on Pericles and completed in 415 BC, two years before the Parthenon and other massive building projects of Athens' Golden Age. Built on the Hephaestus, the patron god of metalworking, craftsmanship, fire, and Athena ordained, the patron goddess of potter and craft. The structure was built around the same time as the Parthenon. Around the 7th century, the temple was turned into a Christian church dedicated to St. George. In the 19th century, the church was used as a burial place for Protestants and many European Fahilis, who died in the 1821 Greek War of Independence. The building remained in use until 1834 when it was the site of the official welcome of King Otto, the first king of the modern Greek state. The largest structure on the site is an impressive colonized stora of Atalanus. The stora is a covered walkway, a place for Athenians to meet, walk, and do business. A Hellenistic version of a mall, with 42 shop space over two levels. Built in the 2nd century BC, the restoration took place between 1953 to 1956 by the American School of Classical Studies with the financial support of John D. Rockefeller. During the excavation, the archaeologists unearthed over 160,000 items dating from the Leolithic times to the 19th century. Today, you'll find a museum on the lower level with the remnant and ruins that were part of the Agra during the Hellenistic period, including sculptural pediment from the top of the Temple of Hephaestus. The upper level of the store houses a permanent exhibition of sculptures from the ancient Agra, representing Athenian art from the late Classical, Hellenistic, and the Roman periods. Towards the upper part of ancient Agra is a restored Byzantine church of Holy Apostle which was built in the 11th century. Like many Byzantine churches, you can see bits and pieces of marble from the ancient building and the temple that was destroyed by the early Christians because they were pagan. The church of Holy Apostle was restored to its original form from 1954 to 1956. Along with the Temple of Hephaestus, is the only building in the Agra to survive intact.